Hi, Sue, this is Paul. I'm going to try and walk through your UI. All right, so what I've done here is I've selected the center buttons, and I'm going to clear the constraints, which I already did. Um, so just to undo what I just did, let's put them back. So this is what I'm looking at. I press Command A to just look at all your constraints. Looks like in this bottom area is where we're having some trouble. So what I'm going to try and do is see if I can get these hooked up and then maybe fix the bottom. So let's go ahead, clear the constraints in the bottom right corner. And now it's going to tell me that we need to set stuff up. Now, for most of these, I would not set a height except for maybe these buttons. These, I wouldn't set a height. Um, I would just set the width. So if we just do the width here, and then if I want these all to be equal width, actually, I probably don't want to set the width. Let's think about this. No. What I actually want to do is I want to drag to the, the front, get the leading space. Then I want to drag to the next one, do the horizontal spacing. Then the next one, drag over and do horizontal, and then our trailing. Then I want to set the equal widths once I get that. That way, it's funky how it's drawing that. That way then we can just take these and say these need to be equal widths, and it should be able to fix or figure out what this should be. Let's see if this works. All right, so then the other thing it's going to complain about is its position. So if we open up the assistant editor, you can also see what's going on. So I'm going to click on the Venn diagram icon on the top and switch this over to preview. And that's kind of what I expected for this. So we have the percentages lining up across. We want to make them come below the calculate button. So next up, just one of them needs to have a, a vertical spacing. So I'll just do it from the center one, since that one's right next to it. And now we should see our percentages sort of shift down. And we can't really see anything because it doesn't fit all of this on this screen right now. Let's add a bigger phone. I'll just get rid of the smaller one just so we can see what we're working with. And... Oh, that did not. Okay, so then the next thing, we've set the 15%, but we didn't set the the 10% or the other one to sort of be in the same vertical line. So what I'm going to do is drag left, do the center Y. And a lot of this is just sort of seeing what happens and then just making adjustments. So the center Y should get those in a line. So now you can see that they're all lined up, which is what we wanted to see. And we can repeat the same process for the next set of buttons. So again, what I'm going to do first is set up the leading space, and we're going to set up the sort of horizontal constraint all the way across the row. And again, we can still work top down like I've been showing in the videos. Once we do that, the next task is we need to establish the vertical relationship. We'll do that with the center one just to make this straightforward. So we'll do the vertical spacing. Once we have that, we should see this sort of pop down. Now we need to establish that these are going to be the same length. So I'm going to hold the shift key and click on all three and then click on the button down here for the equal widths. We click on that. We add the two constraints. We should now see they all have equal widths. And I, we also might need to, since you're coloring these labels as a background color, I think we're going to need to set up the heights. Like I think you had set um, and then I'm going to set equal heights for all of them. So we're only going to set the height here. We're not going to set the width, uh, to be a specific size. Only the height is going to be a specific size so that they are a certain number of pixels tall. And it looks like it's trying to trim that down a little bit, but I'm going to pin the heights, add those two constraints. And then our last thing that I think we need to do is established, we have this, if I hold the Alt key, I can see how far away something is from another view. So we've got some kind of relationship here. Now I need to do the center Y and then the center Y over here.
And it looks like what Xcode is telling me is that these are not all the same width. And if I select them all, we look at the view property, we see there's multiple width properties. So if I set it to 20, you'll see that we have an issue with that. If I set it to 200, you see that's this too big. So that's what our problem is. We've got multiple widths. So I'll just undo both of those changes. And looks like the heights are all 31 pixels. So what I'm gonna try and do, I don't wanna do the, for this case, you don't wanna do the size to fit content because that's not gonna work for what we want. What we need to do is to update the frames. And so if you select each one of these, make sure they have focus. So I'll hold the shift key and do that selection again. We wanna update the frames, which the hot key for that is gonna be uh, command, the alter option key and then equals. And we should see that that should adjust. So it looks like they're, they weren't quite equal, which might've been causing your issues. And so then again, we can go down and adjust the next row, just like we did this row. So you're gonna drag left, set up the leading space. You're gonna set up the horizontal space, another horizontal space and the trailing space. So we just go across the line. Then we want them all to be in the same vertical position. So we can set the center Y first or second. It doesn't really matter. We just need to make sure that these three are gonna be all in the same level. We're gonna see it, these constraints are sort of moving around. Uh, and then we are going to set the vertical spacing right here. So now it's gonna bump them down. And so now you can see that these are taking up the spacing over here. Now what I want to do is set up the height across all of them. So I'll set the height on the first one. Looks like you have the height at 30 here. So it's not 31. So if we want all of these to be equal heights, this might've been your problem. Uh, what I'm going to instead do is I might select all of them and just say equal heights. Uh, you could do something like that. Uh, and we're gonna go right down here. Just say equal heights. Now we're gonna have some off issues. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna select this and then do, actually it might be too early to do update frames, but we'll try it. Yeah, too early. Uh, I guess I'll go line by line. So I'll take back what I, I was gonna do here. Now let's just go line by line. So I think you want this to be 31. I'm not sure. Let's check the other heights. These are all 30. No, maybe it should just be 30. So if I wanted to update these heights, I could select the height, type in 30. If I double click on it, that should shrink these. Now it's going to change the spacing a little bit. So what I'm going to do is shift up a little. So now the spacing is seven. Eight. Maybe I shouldn't have shifted up. It says nine. That's weird. All right, let's try this again. We'll go up one point. Okay, for some reason it went up a couple points. And the spacing here is still nine between these. So I'm just going to shift these up a little. And now, I just want to change the top space so that it's actually eight. It's looking like that's what it is. And what is left? We need to set these to be equal. So we'll just select the three of these and say equal widths in the bottom middle button. And there we have that. Do I have the heights? I don't know if I set those. I think I did. Um, looks a little confusing. So I might just clear those constraints. really drawing these a little bit strange. All right, so next up, 
I'm just clicking through and while I'm clicking through, I'm looking in the right panel at the measurement tool, just trying to eyeball to make sure things are, are lining up. It looks a little off to me, but we'll find out. Okay, the widths are not all the same here. So we're gonna have that same issue. Are these all the same now? Yeah, so if I, I look at this, they're all 178. If I click on this one, it's 179, 179, 177. So we're seeing different widths across all three of these bottom ones. So what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and go right to left, horizontal space, horizontal space, trailing space. And now what I'll do is I want them to all be equal widths, so I'll just select them all and choose equal widths. I do want equal height, so I guess I'll select that as well. Add those constraints. Now it's gonna complain with these negative twos. That means that something's not lining up. So remember, one of these was 177, the other was 179. They're not the same width. So we're gonna to have to update fringe, but you don't wanna do that until you've defined how big they're going to be. So we need to have both a width uh, sort of set up and the other attributes, otherwise they all get squashed to the top. So I think I've set both the width and height. So once we've sort of set that, we can now update the frames and they jump up. So you can see that that fixed one of the issues. The problem is they jump up. So I'll undo that. We have to set up the, the horizontal, sorry, the vertical constraint first. So we'll do the vertical spacing and now you can see that we're below our, our next line, but none of the, the buttons are lined up. So again, we will set up the center Y on the left side with the center one and the right side, and you'll see that they pop down. And then I think we need to update the frames now. So I'll just select each of them. So click on one, hold shift, click on the next, and do update frames, just the on the left, and if you click on the wrong button, you have to reselect them. And I don't want that. I just want these three. So let's go ahead, update frames for the selected views, and one bounced up, which tells me we have a problem. I'm not sure if I set the height. So let's go ahead and set the height on one of these. I'll, I'll go back a row. We'll see if this works. I guess I have to reset the height. Okay, so I'm going to select these three. Not sure if I set this already. I think I cleared it um, because it was a little funky. So let's do equal heights. You've got to set the height on one of them and then you can update it for the rest of them. So once I've done that, now I can go back and I can say update the frames. It should relay out some of the, the visuals and they'll jump down and we just want to double check the heights are what we expect. So you're just looking on the right side at the heights. You can hold the alt or option key and sort of look at the spacing to see if anything's weird there. And so I've got the, the height here and the width so we're gonna have some orange, and what I'm gonna do is just do an update frame, and that should reshift some of the components. Did I miss a starting edge? I might have, leading space, and there we go. I don't know if it's just my glasses. Uh, the colors look a little bit off on the, the preview on the right, but it does look like it's working. I think it just might be because I'm wearing glasses and colors move around when I tilt my head. Uh, it's a optical illusion. Um, so I think that's pretty good. So then you can just hook up the, the distance to this and set the vertical spacing and things will start to snap into place. Again, we're gonna have some issues because of your height. You don't wanna do greater than or equal for the height. So we've got some weirdness going on down here. So I'd probably update that. And because you've made these labels um, taller than they should be, for, for these types of text labels, 
I would just um, not set a height and I wouldn't set uh, a width. I would just size to fit content. For most labels, you unless you're doing like a colored background like you're doing, I would just do it this way and then align the baselines. And then you might have to jiggle some of this a little bit, but that should, I would probably remove, I don't know what these, there are a lot of constraints here. So I would probably go ahead, remove these constraints and then re-add them just by dragging them around and, and stuff. So you can probably take it from here, um, but that should give you a good start. Now, if we go actually and test this on the actual app itself, we're going to see that the, the main portion is now correctly laid out. If I were to rotate, oops, wrong keyboard, shortcut, command, right arrow, we should see them. And then we see that I have an issue. So I this is where you can run into issues. If you don't set the, what is this? Oh, it looks like I set the wrong thing. So I had an extra constraint there. Not sure why. Um, let's go back to that. So this right here is a trailing constraint, which I apparently set instead of a leading constraint. Um, so you have to be careful. And you can see that it's going from this edge all the way to over here, which is really weird, um, to the margin. And we didn't want that. So I'm just going to select that and press delete. And that probably explains that. Let's run it one more time. Um, there's still more issues to clean up, but we should see that that center row and columns are set up. All right, so that's it for this little bug fix.